Welcome everyone to the Coaster Spot. This is Alex and today we're going to take a look back at some construction footage taken up Top Thrill 2 at Cedar Point back in late August. I never really got around to posting this because I had some issues with my iPhone breaking on the way to Cedar Point and I was stuck with it 8S missing my 13 Pro every day for a month. Oik. But today is media day, so I figured it would be a good day to release this footage. We're not there for a very good reason. I did not even try to be on this media list because, if you don't know, to be on this media list, you pretty much need to be overwhelmingly positive towards the park. And that's just something I'm not willing to do. Anytime we're attending a media day or working with a park, it's understood that we might be critical and they know that in advance. But anyways, I will be visiting the park very soon, most likely next month on the 9th and the 10th. Hopefully that will be a good time to go and avoid the opening weekend craziness. So look for content that weekend and let's get on to the update. As I said, it was taking over a week, so we did see some progress taking place. My feelings on the colors here, I am so excited to see that whole thing turn gray. I've always hated the yellow, so I think it's going to look pretty awesome. And then having the red alternating track towards the top should look pretty awesome too. Even though it might kind of look like a radio tower, but that's okay. Looks like they haven't been really working on it that much since the announcement. It seems like painting and construction, as far as vertical, has pretty much ceased. We saw them put in those three columns from Iron Dragon, but that's about it. I believe this stand here is going to be demolished. It's just kind of a shame. I really like the grandstands. They're keeping with a racing theme, just more dragster to Formula One. But yeah, most of the uh, launch track has been put back in place with a bunch of the electronics in place, but not all of them. So very sad. I think it goes to about right here and it ends. So as I said, it did a lot of work towards the beginning of the month. And it seems like they take it a big break for whatever reason. Whether it's uh, the contractors having other work or supply chain or, or just how the project management was going. There you go. What? What? They're literally backing track up. And it's not better. Uh, I, I saw it. <laughs> All right. So as we can see, they're lifting some more launch track into place. You don't have any of the actual magnetic LSMs in place yet, but all their control boxes are. And then they're building this other building over here, which I assume is for all the electronics for the new ride launch. Which makes sense since it's located about halfway down the track and would require the least amount of cabling to do so. All right, here we are, the lifting a piece of track into place. Almost done all the launch track, actually. Just a few more pieces to go, as you can see. Not sure when it's going to turn into new. Probably right around the transfer track area. That quick transfer track.
here are the three support columns. I'm thinking that next week these towers are going to climb very, very quickly. But until then, I think they just put these in kind of as a symbolic way of being like, hey, we're building it. Now, of course, the tower is going to be re remaining relatively unchanged as far as any structural things. Those lights there were where the countdown was for the Christmas tree, those are likely going to be removed or not used, one of the two. Uh, they have uh, stopped painting for about a month now, and I believe that could possibly be for one of two reasons. The painters might have other projects uh, going on, but uh, the more likely reason probably is because the higher they get, the more likely that paint splatter could come down on guests. And with the park open every day, there's really no time for them to be able to paint it in the morning or obviously the evening. So I assume that we're really going to see a lot of that resume uh, coming up in just a few days after Labor Day. But I, I love the paint scheme. Uh, the red and uh, white on the top should look pretty cool. But I, I love the gray. I think it's just going to look so stealthy and so badass compared to this, this McDonald's yellow that it used to be. And with the transformation of all these paint jobs, you can see that the old uh, motor building is getting uh, a blue paint job. Obviously, uh, I, they might just leave it in there because it might just be really costly to remove it. So it might just remain in there as a relic, uh, not hurting anybody. Who knows? I'm sure at some point we will find out if everything was removed or not. I think we actually might have already seen some stuff being removed, if I recall. Uh, to comment down below if you want to confirm that or not. But this area is really going to see a change. The sign is going to be taken down. It's going to have an entrance way kind of balloon that you're going to kind of go through to get to the entrance. The entrance is going to be in the same area. And we can see now that the LSM staters have gone in. Before, we all only saw all the control boxes. That's the part that's inside of the structure of the track. But those white boxes right there have now gone on in. Uh, over the last couple of days. We weren't in the park yesterday in this area, so uh, this probably started yesterday. And as you see, they've gone way down the launch track. So that is very cool to see all those go in right in front of our eyes. And I think that's what they're working on or we're working on today. Close up and see all that work going on, getting all those motors in place. They are nearly all the way down the launch track. There's only a few more pieces to the left here. Uh, they were running out of uh, footers that are complete or the original track before. That is the final piece of track that has been placed so far. As I said, from riding Iron Dragon, you're able to see that the footer work is not quite done yet for the rest of the rides, but you can also see the station there, like completely clear of anything pretty much. And part of that roof is gonna be have to be replaced in the rear because of the spike going in. It's not gonna have the right clearance. All right, so basically the roof is gonna be cut back, I believe on those three posts there, it'll be cut back to basically half of the, the width of the station roof. All right. I think that is about going to do it for our little construction update showing you uh, Top Thrill 2 right before Labor Day. Unfortunately, I will not be back to the park. I do not believe unless something crazy happens this year. So, But I love showing construction. So just a little peek into the process. And of course, should be at the opening uh, within one or two weeks of opening. Definitely not going to go opening day. Unless there's a really cool preview event, then I will definitely attend that. All right, thanks for watching. This has been Alex for the Coast Spot. Like, comment, and subscribe. And go check out videos of our days here at Cedar Point and full park tours of Cedar Point and Cedar Point Shores.